And now we move to Venezuela, where opposition leader Maria Mochado, who galvanized a strong anti-government coalition, has gone into hiding, fearing political targeting from Nicolas Maduro's regime. Speaking to the New York Times, Machado said she remains in Venezuela while her party's presidential candidate, Edmundo Gonzalez, is still in exile in Spain. Machado and Gonzalez contested the July 28th presidential election against Maduro and were declared losers in a highly contentious race. Several nations, including the United States and Brazil, have dismissed the electoral results and asked for a recount. However, Machado now says that she has lost all hopes of Maduro loosening his grip on power. Affectionately known as the Iron Lady for her steely resolve, Machado said she wants President-elect Donald Trump to oversee the ouster of Maduro. Machado even praised Donald Trump's selection of Marco Rubio as Secretary of State. Machado and Rubio have known each other for decades, and the Venezuelan believes that Rubio's previous anti-Maduro stance will carry forward to the second Trump presidency. Machado added that she's been in constant contact with Senator Rubio's team. And now it's worth noting Maduro had frosty relations with Donald Trump during the Republicans' first term, and this time Maduro is worried that he could be staring at more sanctions and mass deportations from the United States. In your first government, re-elected President Donald Trump, we did not do well. This is a new beginning, so that we bet on winning. Winning, and it goes well for the United States. It goes well for Venezuela. Now, in a strange turn of events, Maduro praised Donald Trump and Elon Musk in an attempt to ease tensions. The rector of the economy. That's a new position I'm going to create. Just as Trump created a position over there for a person like Elon Musk in the United States. Following Trump's example, I'm going to create a new position here. Economic Efficiency Rector. Rector of Quality and Production. You like the position? Well, good. It is approved. Meanwhile, thousands of Venezuelans continue to criticize Maduro and his regime for cracking down on dissent and taking no action against skyrocketing prices of basic goods. Sometimes you go to look for merchandise, and it is not the same price. One tries to survive, at least, because the dollar is going up. And regarding the economy, people try to buy the most basic things right now, the most necessary things, because things are not easy. If sales are so-so, a vendor can earn between 30 to $40, but it is quite difficult. At least this week, we have had no sales. Now, it's unclear whether Maduro's regime knows the whereabouts of Maria Mochado, who now awaits Donald Trump's return to the White House in hopes of seeing change in Venezuela.